Okay, so three, two, one. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm going to be doing a very long-term review on one of my favorite products that most people don't know about unless you're into editing or you like old-school keyboards by Apple. So this is by a company called Logic Keyboard. Logic Keyboard is a company that makes various types of editing keyboards from everything from Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro X, Logic, and basically all the different types of editing programs that people use for music, for video, and just editing in general, either on a Mac end or on the Windows end. Now, I'm not sure how I found this keyboard originally. It was probably through some type of uh, YouTube review, and I liked it. And this is actually an Apple keyboard. This is the old school Apple keyboard. So I'm going to be doing the unboxing of this, and I still have my original keyboard. I was having some issues with it. I wasn't sure if it was a power issue or not, um, with all the power coming in and out, or if it was the actual keys that were giving me some issues. So they sent me a replacement. Uh, they were really nice about it. I think I paid five years ago, 125 or 130 dollars, and it's the exact same price. Now I've also inquired from the company if they're going to be releasing the wireless version of this, and they said there is a demand, but everything has to be retooled because basically what they do, and I'll get into it in a minute, is this is the original Apple keyboard with the original keys. And they color code everything. These are actual color coded, which is great. I thought about maybe taking these keys and putting them on a different keyboard. But the keyboards are different now too. I just like the old school keyboard. So anyway, this is the box that comes in. This is what it looks like on the back. So basically what you have here is all the colors of the keys that you'd be using for various types of editing. And if you've ever done editing before, you understand that every key can potentially do something different. And you tend to use the same keys over and over. And it's easier said than done when people say, well, you're just going to remember. I'm like, that's true, but it's not at the same time. I'd rather just look at it. You know it's there. Some of the keys you don't use a lot. Some you use all the time. Because when I tend to edit, I tend to edit. I don't edit any type of craziness. I tend to keep things very simple, basic, and just pump out videos. Uh, like when I'm doing these reviews, I might shoot 15, 20 videos in one day and not shoot for a few months. And that's what I'm doing right now. And just keep it simple. I tend to use this keyboard for everything, just not for editing. But if I have my MacBook Pro, I'd, like, I'd rather type on this thing than type on my MacBook Pro, even though I have a 2019 with a better keyboard. So let's get the unboxing done real quick here. Again, you can find this on Amazon for... $130. They also make a skin, meaning you can put the keyboard on top of a different keyboard if you want to go that route. I think you lose that tactile feel. That's just me. I've tried them out. They work okay, but I just like this in general. So this is the actual keyboard. You get a couple of little things. Congratulations. This just goes over some registration things. Kind of goes over to different... Oh, here we go. So this is the different products they use. Um, After Effects, you can use Media Composer, News Hustler, uh, Vegas Pro, Sony, uh, Final Cut Pro X, like I, like Da Vinci, Aurora Edit, and then here's some of the other ones that they have too, for Photoshop, for Lightroom, uh, Logic Pro X, Pro Tools, Alberton Live, Audition CC. These are all the various types of editing programs. This is more on the audio end. This is for excuse me, is for video. And this is the one they have, I believe, for the Windows version or just a different version. I believe this one lights up. Um, but it's not the same keyboard as this. This is, I think, their own version of it. Um, but I believe this one does light up, if I remember correctly. Just some uh, wipes. And then they also include this, which is nice. If this is something you want to throw up, it's pretty pretty much up to you. They have it in English, what looks like Dutch over here, and this looks like it's German. Kind of goes over the basic keys. And then again on the back, this is just some instructions on the cleaning. Again, that's German, and well, that could be French, but it does look Dutch. And that's uh, that's definitely German. 
pretty much it. Now, they do have a different box now. I do like the older boxes. There used to be a magnet over here, so it came out, came off. The The box, it's not destroyed, but it's been through hell and back because I travel so much. And I kept the box. I, I'm not going to do the complete unboxing of this one. I'm just going to bring out the old one. Um, but what you have here is a USB, the USB here, and obviously the USB here. This is an Apple keyboard. This is what I love about this. As you can see, Apple keyboard over here. This is the one they came out with. I believe it was maybe like 2000, I want to say 12 or 13. This is a pretty old keyboard. But I love this tactile feel. I really like this. Like, Even though mine, I think, is five years old, it still pretty much feels exactly the same. The keys are great. This is an actual cover on the key. So I believe I believe they're stickers. I'm not sure if they're... But it looks like it's superimposed. So they actually really took their time designing this. It's just nice to have all this in front of you uh, when you're doing various types of editing, whether that's in Final Cut Pro, Logic, you know, Adobe. It doesn't really matter to me. But I tend to use the same keys over and over. But again, it's just nice that you have it in front of you. I wish this lit up to a point, but I think that's what that other keyboard is. I believe they do have one that lights up, but the keys are different, different feel, etc. One side note, though, if you are running various products in the side, meaning like, for example, you might have an iPhone charging here or something else charging over here. Like I think there's a light that's, that actually is designed for this one. So you could actually put a light over here and it comes over kind of like a small LED light. 99% sure maybe that's the reason why they designed it like that, but I could be wrong. I've seen some pictures, but if you're running multiple power sources into this, into your MacBook Pro, one might drop out just because this takes a lot of power, and then it's going to pretty much tell you in the MacBook Pro if it's dropping out or not. So let me bring in my old keyboard real quick, the one that I use pretty much every day, travel with this thing. So this is the one that I've had for years. As you can see, it pretty much looks brand new. I was having some issues with the keys. I wasn't sure if it was a power issue or if it was a power issue with here. So I believe that's the reason why they sent me um, another keyboard because, yeah, I reached out to the company. wasn't too happy. We couldn't figure it out. The power was kind of – some keys were working. Some keys wouldn't work. So, like I said, we couldn't figure if it was a power issue from here going into here or if it was the fact that it was a USB-C. So that's pretty much it. But it's a great keyboard. It's one of my favorite keyboards I've ever used. I do travel with uh, a bag by the name of Eagle Creek. Eagle Creek makes a lot of cool hiking bags and travel bags and semi-professional bags. So this will actually fit in the Eagle Creek briefcase, which I've done a review on. And it can fit your laptop. It can fit an iPad. This, some files, maybe a couple of hard drives, like some 5 terabyte Seagate hard drives, which are nice to travel with. Um, I've not had the best experience with the Seagate drives. Uh, the 8 terabyte hard drives tend to go corrupt on me. I think I've had four corruptions already. Um, but the good thing is if you buy them through Costco, uh, they're 100% protected underneath the Seagate warranty, uh, which is really, really nice. But that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in getting a great keyboard, and you don't mind the old school feel, or if you like the old school feel. So what I've noticed about the newer keyboards, like they have the Mac Pro keyboard in black, just like this, the keys aren't the same, they don't have that tactile feel to them, and it doesn't sit as high as this one does. It actually send, it sits a little bit more flat like this, and I think once you get used to just a, a little subtleness of the keyboard being at an angle, you really, really like that. It works really well. When they design this, they design this right. And I still have an old school mouse. This is my original Apple mouse from, I think this is like four years ago. And I really just like Apple products. They work well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these more different types of um, mice per se. They have like the gaming mice. They have a couple of different options. But I just like the feel of the mouse. It feels good. Up and down. It's really scratched up. I think I have to charge this thing like maybe, let's say once a month, not even, but it doesn't take long to charge at all. The only bad thing about this thing, if you forget it's on, you put it in your bag and all of a sudden you can't figure out why your 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 laptop won't work or your desktop, 
that's the reason why. It's because the mouse is on and it's clicking somewhere and you don't really know that. That's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed a little bit different review of the editing keyboard. If you're in editing, you want something good, whether you're traveling or not, I highly, highly recommend this. Even if you're just on a MacBook Pro, once you get used to editing or just typing on a computer like this, as far as the keyboard, you tend to stick to that. It's a pain in the ass to travel with, but it is what it is at this point. So you kind of take the good with the bad and you go where it works. And I really, really like the keyboard. That's pretty much it. I'll put the Amazon link below. I believe it's still $130. And I think the skin is right around 30 to 40. They do make um, a version of this that does light up. I've not tried it. But if you want that old school Apple feel, definitely go with the Apple keyboard. That's it to everybody. Have a good night.